The Saab Jazz 39 Gripen, Griffin, is a Swedish supersonic multirole fighter aircraft manufactured by Saab. This aircraft is sold by the company Gripen International, a joint venture between Saab and BAE Systems. This aircraft has been used by the Swedish, Czech and Hungarian Air Forces, and has been ordered by South Africa and Thailand. The JAS-39 Gripen fighter jet is the result of joint development between Saab Military Aircraft, Ericsson Microwave Systems, Volvo Aero Corporation, and Celsius Aerotech. This aircraft is a fourth-generation multirole fighter aircraft. The JAS-39 Gripen incorporates new capabilities in its software-controlled avionics system. Also modern materials, more advanced aerodynamic design, and engines with fully integrated systems, and the result is a truly multi-role specification fighter. The JAS-39 Gripen is the first Swedish production fighter aircraft that can be used for interception, ground attack and reconnaissance missions. It is not an exaggeration if the name of this aircraft is equipped with the acronym JAS, which now replaces the previous generation of Swedish-made fighter jets, Draken and Vigen. A major update of the Gripen series, previously referred to as the Gripen NG, Next Generation, or Super Jazz, now designated the Jazz 39E slash F Gripen began deliveries to the Swedish and Brazilian Air Forces in 2019. Changes from the C series to the E series included a larger airframe, more powerful engines, increased weapons payload capability, and new cockpits, avionics architecture, electronic warfare systems, and other improvements. According to the official Saab website, for fighter aircraft operators, it is very important to have aircraft in the air, not in the hangar. Compared to some contemporary fighters, the Gripen offers higher availability. It only takes 10 minutes to refuel, rearm, and turn the aircraft around for an air-to-air -air mission. The Gripen can also be operated in remote areas, thanks to its short takeoff and landing capabilities. Fighter aircraft can take off and land from roads that are only 16 meters wide and 800 meters long. The end result, a high surprise attack rate and wide area coverage.